Uh, we're doing a little bit, little bitty bit uh, of uh, some melodic ideas, some basic melodic ideas that you can use in uh, in scrubs playing, which is what I do. I'm not a melodic player, don't claim to be, don't really want to be. Uh, I don't particularly care for fiddle tunes where there's no words to it. I can't follow what the fiddle's doing, uh, going all over the neck. It's not, it's not really my cup of tea. But what I do like is uh, taking a few, very few, uh, melodic phrases, licks, if you want to call them that, little passages, and working them into my scrubs breaks and uh, just enough where uh, you know, you're doing a whole set and then all of a sudden you do a little, uh, a little uh, melodic run. Yeah, that, that really kind of perks somebody's ears up and, and uh, sounds a little bit different, but still, you can still play that with nice drive and um, everything else that you're already doing in Scrug style. So that's the way I use melodics. Um, but what I will do is I show you a few things you're going to get used to uh, how the right hand works a little bit uh, and then also a couple of positions on the fretboard where uh, you traditionally play melodics and scales and those kind of things. There's Butterball back there scratching away. All right, let's see what we can do here. First thing I want to show you is uh, some of these licks you're going to already recognize, positions or things we're doing. Uh, but we're going to put them in a different place on the fingerboard and it's going to sound more melodic. Uh, the first one is an idea that I hear a lot in Down the Road, uh, also in Cripple Creek. We'll be playing Cripple Creek uh, a lot here, but uh, J.D. Crow on the Bluegrass Album Band uh, recordings plays uh, Down the Road something like this. <laughs> What I want to show you, and then what we're going to do is we're going to move it up to a different position and do the exact same thing. It's going to sound much more melodic. So in this case, we're kind of doing an alternating kind of thumb roll uh, thing here. All right, so we're at the second fret on the third string and the fourth fret of the fourth string. Okay, and we're going to hit the third string at the uh, second fret, open second, and then fourth string at the fourth fret. Open first, open third. Okay, real easy lick, and that will go uh, in lots of things. If you've got a half a measure of uh, D, going back from D to G, you can okay, go in tons and tons of traditional type of songs. Okay. And you may think that doesn't sound very melodic, and it doesn't. But listen to how it sounds when I move it up to the, uh, instead of the second and fourth fret, move it up to the fifth and the seventh and do the same thing. That sounds much more melodic to me. We're still doing the same exact idea, uh, except we're at the fifth fret and the seventh fret on the third and fourth string there, respectively. So it's third string, open second, fourth string, open first, open third. Yeah. Okay, and the weird thing about melodics when you first start doing it is if you're trying to do it by ear, you're, you don't really know where to put your fingers on the fretboard because uh, you play the third string here and then you play the second string, which normally you think would sound higher, but now it doesn't. Okay, here's the third string, here's the second string. It's kind of walking down the scale. And, okay, so your brain wants to do tell your fingers to do something different until you get used to playing these licks. Okay, so that little bitty phrase I just played will actually go in a lot of places. I'm going to build off of Cripple Creek here. So let's say we're doing Cripple Creek. do the first little lick uh, at the second and fourth string. Okay, or you can move it up and do the more melodic sounding one at the fifth and seventh. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Uh, next thing I want to add in, let's see, how do I want to do this? Do, 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 do. Okay, which 
which is uh, a little ending lick. I played it at the very beginning of the video uh, for the second half of the, the double ending. Whoops. Okay, so let me see if I can show that part to you, and that will work for endings, but also in other things. And, and you're getting used to the melodic position, which is, uh, we just talked about the fifth and the seventh fret on the third and fourth string. Well, on the second string, you're at the fifth fret, okay? And at the first string, you're on the fourth fret. Okay, and you might have played that in some other licks on some other song and didn't really recognize it maybe as being melodic. Okay, but doing a little roll there on fifth, five, uh, five, two, one. And back to five. And then you uh, raise your fingers off. And do a backwards roll, one, two, three. So we got five, two, one, five, one, two, three. Yep, that's it. So now we're doing we're really doing a forward backward roll now that I think about it. And back to the first string open. And now you put in the little lick I showed you earlier. Okay, so it's a forward backwards roll. And hopefully you're starting to hear, okay, he is building some a, a melodic idea here. Can I put that in the Cripple Creek? Yeah, it'll go in either part. Sounds better in the first part than the second part of Cripple Creek. So once again. Okay, so we're building. Before we just did. Let's see what we got next. Uh, you may have actually learned this as a break. You may have saw some tab for it for Cripple Creek. After you do the basic one, they kind of do uh, the next position for what you need for melodic, which was uh, here on the first and second string. First string is at the uh, 11, two, nine, nine, and then uh, 10 at the, uh, on the second string. Okay, so a nice little break for Cripple Creek that's melodic. Some, I, Sometimes people call it banjo in the hollow, and that part, and you see a break for that, and it's this particular break. Uh, but you're doing the same stuff we just did here. Uh, you're doing forward backwards rolls. So let me kind of play it here, and then I'll think about it and see if I can explain it to you what I'm doing. Okay, so a lot of forward backwards rolls. There, you're doing a forward backwards roll. Uh, at this position. Okay, when you're doing the backwards part, your hand comes off. Then at the next position, which I showed you earlier, do the same thing. And then you go to the C position. And then you come back and do the little ending I showed you earlier. All right, so there you go. You can put play that for a whole half of a break on your Cripple Creek. play slow when you kind of memorize it and it's what your fingers do when you start thinking about it you get messed up sometimes but that was pretty close okay so there we go uh let's see here i got a couple more things to show you okay so that's building off of these positions which if you want to get into melodics, this will kind of be the basis of uh, positions that you're going to use for more complicated things. Uh, other things that become more complicated is, uh, and I haven't mastered this at all, but that is where you got to get your uh, index finger playing the second string instead of the first string. Uh, there's a particular lick that... 
have a hard time with that one, so I'm not even going to show that one to you. Um, but the other idea I have uh, is, and I've shown this to you before on one of my ending videos, and that is... Okay, it's kind of moving up the scale. That, to me, it, I kind of adapted it from what I heard a mandolin playing for, for an ending on the song and kind of adapted it to, all right, where's that out on the banjo? So uh, you can go back and watch that video if you want to. It's on endings, maybe the second one on endings, more endings it might be called. Uh, but now it's, uh, instead of forward backward rolls, it's all forward rolls, okay? And you kind of slide into it, just like you'd normally do on uh, some other things, but it's starting with the thumb. So you go one, two, three. Familiar position. See. So it's the same positions we were doing on the other breaks, but a little bit different with the right hand. So it's all one, two, it's one, two, three, and then you go to five, excuse me, you go three, two, one, and then five, two, one, five, two, one, one, one. Okay, so what I want to do is to not go all the way up the neck and do an ending like a shave in the haircut. Two bits. Not going to do that part. One thing you can do in your Cripple Creek uh, break is to do half of that. Just go down an octave instead of doing it up here. Just to go to the second string. And really, you're sliding into the G position there, your uh, G note. Okay, so. Instead of okay, so watch how nice this fits on to the second part of Cripple Creek. Okay, so now we've got the first part and the second part. So you're really building some melodic ideas. Okay. Um, one more thing I wanted to do is to take what I just did and change the last little bit instead of. Uh, okay, as we do in Cripple Creek, is I'm going to do a whole D measure. I'm going to replace the uh, the D uh, the D measure at the end of a break. Though. Instead of that, it's going to be. It's mixing together, starting to cut and paste ideas we've already done. And that becomes a D lick, okay? So you can do it on whatever you want. You can do it on Foggy Mountain Breakdown if you want, which isn't normally melodic. Okay, so what am I doing on that? A lot of the same stuff I was just doing. Okay, I was doing with the first... Well, probably everything except for the last two notes here. Okay, so how am I piecing that together? So forward roll, and then you end up kind of going backwards and then doing the, which is the first idea I showed you that was melodic. So. So uh, I do use that on one of the songs that we play in our group uh, on I Shall Not Be Moved, okay? And I do a little melodic C lick, which I'm not going to show you right now. Uh, but at the end of the break, I do that for, for instead of... Yeah, so it goes... Uh, Let me see if I can play a little bit slower. Okay, we 
temperatures, ideas I was already doing on these other things I was showing you and then combining them all together, okay? So you've got some good things for Cripple Creek, but it'll also work for a D lick, as I just showed you there. Works for an ending. Okay, uh, works for a whole. Okay, a whole break there where you're doing forward, backward rolls. All right, that's about all I know for melodic, except for like maybe one or two little things. The other part is starting to, to go back down the scale. To, So that idea at this position, which I'm not going to show you right now because it's got some backward roll stuff in it and I think my brain would blow up. So uh, I think you can adapt these or, or pick up what I'm doing here and add in a few little melodics uh, and not go overboard and not become a melodic player. You're not going to necessarily do that unless you want to. Okay, and if you want to go down that path, then go ahead. Uh, but for me, it's to add in a little bit of spice into uh, scrub style play, okay? And still playing with drive and all that stuff. Hopefully you could tell that by the, uh, the break I was doing there on uh, I Shall Not Be Moved. Let me play, play that one more time on the way out. next